Meet Teacher Tony. Teacher Tony is having difficulty engaging his students in learning about resource sustainability and waste. His current curriculum doesn't build communication and collaboration skills or promote critical thinking and problem solving. He feels his students are passive participants in the learning process. Teacher Tony needs help! Ugh, I can't get my students to learn higher order thinking skills and problem solving. Why don't you use constructivism to help transform your teaching so that students are actively engaged with problem solving in meaningful contexts? What's constructivism? Constructivism is a learning theory that equates learning with creating meaning from experience. Huh? Learning is more meaningful to students when they are able to interact with a problem or concept. Constructivism can help engage and motivate your students by making them take on a more active role in the learning process. Constructivism utilizes interactive teaching strategies to create meaningful contexts that help students construct knowledge based on their own experiences. Huh? You've probably seen constructivism at work and didn't even know it. Constructivism is often used to teach higher order thinking skills such as reasoning and problem solving while also helping students transfer their knowledge to new and different situations. Common examples of constructivism include role playing or simulating a historical event or time period, debating controversial current event issues and topics, utilizing cooperative learning groups to teach multiple perspectives, and allowing students to engage in real world activities like internships. Now let's see if we can apply the principles of constructivism to help solve Teacher Tony's problem. First, Teacher Tony must decide how to actively engage his students in the topic. Teacher Tony decides to utilize the idea of problem-based learning to actively engage his students by challenging them to answer a real-world problem. Teacher Tony came up with the following essential question. How can we reduce waste to help sustain Earth's resources? Teacher Tony planned the following activities to help students answer the essential question. First, students will tour a local waste and recycling plant to learn firsthand how waste and recycling materials from their community are handled. Next, students will weigh and record how many pounds of food scraps their family puts into the regular trash each day. Then in groups, students will further research solutions to the problems in books, on the internet, and by interviewing experts around their community and the country using the telephone and Skype. Finally, the student groups will determine how they want to demonstrate their solutions to the essential question. Examples might include student-created books, slideshows, and public service announcements about recycling and the four R's. These learning artifacts could be displayed to members of the community and parents at a family recycling night. After implementing these principles of constructivism, Teacher Tony's students are more actively involved in their learning by engaging in problem solving, higher order thinking skills, and collaborative work. Using constructivism really helped engage my students. If you are wanting to build problem solvers and critical thinkers, then you can use constructivism to solve your problems, just like Teacher Tony.